Field notes notebooks are loved by paper nerds everywhere. And no wonder. Who doesn't love a limited edition notebook that is beautiful and inspiring? Follow me to find out some of the details and thoughts that went into the making of the Foil Again edition. Hi everybody, I'm Sabine Lenz, the founder of Paper Specs with your weekly dose of paper inspiration. Field Notes, which started in 2007 as a simple line of paper notebooks, has grown into the paper equivalent of Apple, with paper nerds everywhere eagerly awaiting the unveiling of each quarterly limited edition 3-pack. Because you see, each edition is unique and inspiring in its own way. Which is to say that it was only a matter of time before the fanciest pocket notebooks in the business joined forces with one of the most beloved print shops in the business, Studio on Fire. The result is the 59th Field Notes Quarterly Edition, foiled again. And as the name implies, these notebooks are all about the shimmer. Designed by Field Notes co-founder Aaron Draplin and late designer Brian Bedell, the Foiled Again 3-pack comes in a hot foil stamp tuck box brimming with details. The first thing that catches the eye is the shiny interplay between the pearlescent Nina pearl cover stock and the colored hot foil. The retail edition features a tuck box of blue foil on a silver Nina pearl sterling stock. The three notebooks inside show a reversed color scheme with covers that are blue, Nina Pearl Indigo, with silver foil. In addition to the set, those with a subscription to the quarterly editions also received a second one. This one comes in a tuck box featuring red foil on Nina Pearl Bright Gold, with the notebook covers featuring gold foil on Nina Pearl Poppy Stock. The artwork remains the same on both editions. The front of the box features the field notes name emerging from a dot pattern with a complex illustration of the notebook making process drawn by Aaron, framing everything. Yes, all hot foil stamped. And if you take a closer, really closer look, you see three dots in the map of the US, representing Portland, where Aaron lives, Minneapolis, where Studio on Fire is located, and Chicago, where Field Notes is headquartered. On the back, the covers of the real notebooks are reproduced small and in loving detail, again demonstrating Studio on Fire's reputation for deft precision. The artwork on the actual notebook covers is nearly identical to that of the tuck box, the only addition being a pair of swords or fencing foils, pun very much intended here, crossed over a shield. And on the inside front cover, information printed in gold ink on the pearlescent paper provides an interesting contrast to the gold foil on the outer cover. You can really see how much more pop you get from foil here. Other smaller details such as the binding staples that match the color of the foil on the front cover, just emphasize again how much thought goes into the making of these fabulous notebooks. And for the fun final touch, Field Notes subscribers received both the subscriber and the retail version of the notebooks in this fun mailing box. It's amazing to see how Field Notes have grown from a no-frills line for jotting down ideas to having foiled editions so beautiful, the company even bought a fencing foil on eBay for this edition's photo shoot. Alas, they didn't want to spring for two foils, so I guess they weren't that foiled again after all. I love a good pun. As you've seen, hot foil stamping really has the ability to add an eye-catching elegance to your next printed project. But there's so many other ways in which you can add now foil to your printed piece. Get a quick overview of all your traditional as well as digital options and download our free foil cheat sheet right now. Did you enjoy this video? Then please subscribe to our channel. And of course, it would be amazing if you shared with all your friends. And keep sending me your fabulous printed pieces. I love to feature them.